night images, anxiety and fear for the safety of nearest and dearest. While at the same time there rises a vast and relentless wave of faith in their return and the joy of reunion. Storms, sudden tempests, sleepless nights, and a silence from which one escapes gasping, a deathly silence filled with threat and foreboding. With a brutality that has no equal, black-bordered statistics relate a somber story. In the previous decade, over 200 vessels had been lost every year. A heavy toll for love unreciprocated. There is a sea and there is a shore where, in defiance of the dictates of faith, indeed boldly staring it down, all those ominous numbers go unheeded unrecognized. It is a climb where, since time immemorial, a joyous echo has been heard. Once a seafarer, always a seafarer. When back in 1994, the first furrow heralded the emergence of a shipping company without any ships, of split ship management, within its parent company, Yadroplov, on the shores of the Adriatic, where tradition is revered as the first, at times the only value within the seafaring community, this previously unheard of departure from marine-related operations was received with incredulity. Indeed, the petrified forms, one owner, one ship, a permanent crew, had in fact become even more rigid, unwilling to give way, even for a minute. Doubts persisted, despite its burgeoning and sturdily maturing growth, and even when split ship management, in addition to providing services for a local shipping company, with equal success assumed management of a fleet owned by the world-renowned, widely recognized Canada Maritime which was subsequently to prove its most reliable partner. The upsurge in new business partners did not stop there. Also made fast with hawsers reaching out from Split, other vessels of Vergainer and Solden from Germany, Great White Fleet from the USA, and its services are being sought by domestic and foreign shipping companies alike. The mist clouding the eyes of the traditionalists cleared to a great degree when only a few years after its formation, split ship management was awarded the ISM code as the first company of its kind in Croatia, as well as the front runner among shipping companies operating in the Mediterranean. It was a recognition and indeed a confirmation of the massive significance to Croatia 
a country which adheres to internationally accepted safety standards in ship management and which is dedicated to doing all in its power to preserve the environment. life on the human scale is revered and upheld. History has always been made and signed at sea. The Croats have inherited the tradition of seafaring and life by and on the sea from the Liburnia, the Delmati and the Greeks. Our ancestors already had a fleet deserving of the name as early as the 9th century, partly buccaneering, which was the bane of merchantmen. A century later, the historiographer Porphyrogenitus Constantinus the Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII, confirmed the truth of a hundred Condurus in Christian Croatia. In a document dating from 1069, King Krasimir IV calls the Adriatic our sea. This Croatian monarch defended the Adriatic not only with a fleet of mighty ships, but with an organized naval force. Significant Croatian forces also sailed under the command of King Zvonimir, and they were frequently victorious the expulsion of Venice from Dalmatian towns being regarded as the most triumphant victory of all. In this wondrous arm of the relic-like Mediterranean, in an area boasting 6,000 kilometers of coastline and the waves that wash against it, ancient tenets became firmly rooted. Devotion to the sea is just as much a way of life today, but with new people and new ships. Dreams are what man measures himself against. If you dream of reaching for the moon, reach for it persistently enough and you'll hold it in the palm of your hand. And that is exactly how things stand now. They will tell you that and with conviction in split ship management. How else could it happen that in a place that lies off major maritime routes, a company could grow and which in a few short years could attain the very peak of ship management business in the world. Some 50 ships, mostly container vessels, are being managed and cared for by this split shipping company, the only one of its kind in Croatia. Of a total of 2,000 staff members, ships masters, officers, sailors and other ships personnel that walk the decks and serve in the engine rooms of that mighty fleet, whose value extends to more than half a billion dollars, 1,300 of them come from the maritime base of split ship management. Most of these people are Croats, who, owing to their hard work, education, tradition, and inbuilt sense for the sea, have long since, and without too much ado, become accustomed to occupying the state box of the world seafaring business. They sail from summer and into winter, from calm seas into sudden tempests. The fate of a ship seems to go round and round in a never-ending circle. And the image, however welcome a change may be, stays ever the same, sea and horizon, and a ship as the sole victor. The central offices in Split four branch offices in Croatia, representation offices in South Korea, Singapore, the Argentine, the United States of America, Canada, New Zealand and the Netherlands, speak volumes for the powerful logistics set up by the ship management company from Split. But their business philosophy, that everything has to be done for the benefit of the partner, is equally evident aboard ship. No one tinkers with the list of sailings, Cargoes and schedules are arranged as meticulously as a completed Rubik's Cube. One does not have to be in love with it, but one has to arrange it in the way the rules dictate. Anything else would result in chaos. 
and nobody in the split ship management has any intention of being responsible for that. Split, a city on the eastern shores of the Adriatic Sea, where split ship management maintains its central office, is the largest centre for maritime business, transport and shipbuilding in Croatia as well as being a scientific and university centre where thousands of young people acquire skills and high-level qualifications in seamanship and related professions. But let us not forget that tradition of living by the sea and for the sea is also woven from tales told at Grandad's knee, from secrets accessible only to the ears and eyes of the chosen ones, from legends that the passage of time makes only more fanciful and dramatic. Split is a city that was born 1700 years ago. The older part of the town containing the palace of the last Roman Emperor Diocletian is listed as a protected historical and cultural monument by UNESCO. And if the sea and the waterfront are the spatial points of orientation in Split, the pivotal spiritual point is undoubtedly the peristyle, the ceremonial imperial site which has defined the life of the city. And that is why the peristyle is the point against which all the criteria of split are measured. Among all the wonders of this magnificent palace, Diocletian's cellars seem the most wonderful. Discernible within the labyrinth of massive walls, meticulously positioned in accordance with architectural standards, is the once upon a time imperial life, the echoes of which after so many centuries still blend with present day life. More than any other city, Split is the child of its climate, the reflection of its local colour. Exposed to the sun and the winds, to old ways and numerous influences, its inhabitants breathe in and walk through the tang of the sea, calmly and intent on not overtaking time. From here, all paths lead to the sea, and it is from the sea alone that one reaches this place. This is the heart and soul of split ship management, a space where a cool-headed but welcoming approach keeps the flame of the first Croatian and in the world a highly respected ship management company burning bright. The contemporary method of planning and monitoring is the trademark of efficiency for some 30 mostly young and highly educated experts. Right here, this advantage is cherished and nurtured like the rarest and most fragile of plants, which in turn is regarded by serious shipping companies as a guarantee of enhancement of their own business success. Thus, a young company from a none too large city became, to the amazement of seagoing business circles, a shining example to many of much greater fame and experience. Faced with the unpalatable fact that some 80% of maritime accidents are caused by the human factor, lack of care and knowledge, the staff in Split pays extra special attention to effective education and training of officers and crew members. It was with that aim in mind that the training centre, the prides of which are the state-of-the-art command bridge and engine room control simulators, was established. As in life, so in this space one can feel and practically taste the joy of sailing and successfully reaching the desired port. At the same time, however, the message is being continually sent out. One needs to know still more. One needs to train still more. The command bridge on dry land replaces at one fell swoop the same area on 32 different types of ship, which can, from here, reach 64 of the world's best-known ports, straits or passages in all kinds of sailing conditions and at any time.
With their comprehensive and modern approach, the 16 educational programs for seamen, including those in the engine room control simulator, have placed the split training centre at the apex of the World Maritime Pyramid. An achievement which, at times, is expressed through the soft songs of Dalmatia. During the course of its existence, split ship management has more than once proved itself to be a company with a heart. It has provided financial support, and not only that, to the weak, the needy, the sick, indeed, to all those who depend on assistance from society. And this help is ongoing. Assistance is provided to activities of wider social import, to art programs, to associations and singing groups or clappers, for instance to this one. Unloading, loading, securing the cargo, and port authorities who always have something to say, adding a little more hassle to an already highly demanding and stressful life. And once again, it is stern first, bows on, welcome help from a pilot, and finally, dead ahead towards the open sea. From heat to ice may not be good for their health, but it works for ships. First and foremost came Canmar Venture and Canmar Spirit, followed by a whole fleet of container vessels that both opened the sea routes through ice and to durable and above all rewarding cooperation between the seamen from Split and the Montreal shipping company, Canada Maritime. Woven into the fabric of the transformation of Canada Maritime into the strongest container vessel link between the American North on one side of the Atlantic and Europe primarily the Mediterranean on the other, and the three-time winner of the award of the best ocean transporter of the year, is undoubtedly the degree of merit belonging to the Adriatic sailor and split management. Ships have always been built in Dalmatia for local shippers. Also, vigilant control has been exercised over the construction of vessels for business partners. Yadroplov Pride, Split, Don Frana Bulic from the Adriatic shipyards, Kolima, Yucatan, Likes Flyer and Guanajuato from the Kaishong shipyard in Taiwan. These are but a few of the ships built, launched and handed over for use which been entrusted to the experts of split ship management to care for and manage. And that they have unquestionably undertaken this successfully is borne out not only by accolades and the appreciation expressed by shipping companies, but also by awards for the best ship of the year. A ship is for sailing but it is the crew that brings us to desired destinations across the oceans. And it is that very crew, the living tissue of every ship, which is the foundation stone upon which the business miracle worked in Split continues to be built upon.
conflict management has recorded a noticeable decrease in shipping accidents caused by the human factor, and the number of idle days is on the decrease, thereby saving large amounts of money for ship owners and official praise for the lads from Split, which echo across the seas of the world. Everything that a seaman in the service of the split ship management receives as recognition or gives as his contribution, he does in the style of a princely successor, which is his birthright. Indeed, it seems to be the true and only choice that he will not surrender. It is the only way that one can accept as realistic the intention, particularly bearing in mind that it has already been transformed into a partly achieved route followed by the split company to try its hand at sailing and managing mega yachts, tankers and finally the massive passenger ships cruising the globe. As a result of the contract with prestigious p and Princess Cruises, split ship management has cast off for the wide route open first and foremost to development. The Croatian sailor has won his place shoulder to shoulder with the privileged Italian and British sailors. Since owners of seagoing vessels the value of which reaches as much as 600 million US dollars, are not about to go back on their business policies, guided by the dictum, do not take cheaper, but better. No borders of any kind, however rigid, nor rules, whoever may have written them, not the walls which obstruct the view and prevent one from breathing with filled lungs, nothing could prevent the seamen and the shipping company from split from fulfilling their dream of sailing down the routes of vision, a dream which, with the passage of time, is almost miraculously becoming a reality. Youthful maturity imbued with confidence, mutual respect, Business acumen and comprehensive care all ensure calm on decks. And but a premonition of the heights attainable on the still uncharted routes of the open seas. Dream about the moon, reach for it persistently enough, and one day you will hold it in the palm of your hand. <laughs>